Dear learners, I am Christina Georgi, your academic counselor. So first and foremost, before moving on to the life and works of Spencer as such, we'll quickly discuss the significance of biographies and biographical materials in understanding and analyzing literature. For that matter, I invite your attention towards section 9.2 on page number 16 of unit 9 of block 2 of the first book on MEG 01. So if you look at the elaborate descriptions there. So first and foremost, let me ask you, have you heard of biographical criticism? Alright, that's fine. You must have uh, studied Samuel Johnson's Lives of Poets and others, right? Yes. So this particular form of criticism known as biographical criticism can be traced back at least to Samuel Johnson's Life of the Poets because it gained in popularity and esteem through the 19th century and remained considerably influential till the early part of the 20th century. It was actually the new critiques or structuralists and post-structuralists who actually challenged this idea of biographical criticism. So till that time this particular school of criticism was into prominence. You will study in detail what new criticism is or what structuralism is in MEG 05. You must have studied this uh, new criticism, at least the mention of that as part of your literary criticism of BA syllabus, right? Yes. So the basic belief of this biographical criticism, rather a study of the author's life can prove the basis of a useful explanatory commentary on the work. So that was the main belief. But this quote challenged by the new critics and the structuralist or post-structuralist critics in course of time. Just have an understanding of that matter. Let's now focus our attention towards the life of Spencer. As we saw in the introductory session, not much is known about Spencer. But we do have enough and more knowledge to frame you know, our own answer for the TEU perspective regarding Spencer. It is kind of certain that he was born in the year 1552 in London. He received a humanist education. His schoolmates include some of the popular figures. Any idea regarding his schoolmates? I can name two people, Kidd and Lodge. Have you heard of these names? Kidd and Lodge, who are they? Are they by any chance related to literature? Yes, Danyasri. Yeah, that's correct. University Vixts. Okay. You must have studied regarding University Vixts. They are two notable people from that group. So moving back to Spencer's education. That is, he received his BA from Cambridge in the year 1573 and MA in the year 1576 he had a break in between so during his stay in Cambridge he friended Gabriel Harvey he was also a very witty and ambitious person of similar social background to Spencer it was this person who got celebrated in the shepherd's calendar in the year 15 79 so you can see this on page number 18 towards the end of the first paragraph that is some important fact there now if you look at the cambridge years and after we can know that at cambridge spencer picked up many languages including italian french etc along with wide reading in greek and latin classics so he was also interested in mythologies ancient and contemporary philosophy and pagan and English legends and folklore. It is said that he has read Homer's Iliad, Virgil's Enid, 
Ariosto's Orlando Furioso Tasso's Jerusalem Delivered etc all these are classic works in literature and it is said that probably all these facilitated in his effective writing of the fairy queen have you heard of this work fairy queen obviously you must have studied this during your ba days see this ma course is considered as if a continuation of your ba studies that is it is pre assumed that you already have an idea regarding all these aspects and we are trying to building on to what you already know when you come for the ma studies all right yes so regarding the publication of the fairy queen i'll just give you some facts that in the year 1590 the first three books of the fairy queen were published and uh, spencer became the first unofficial poet laureate in the year 1596 six books of the fairy queen were published together yes that's something that you can remember so this particular work is long dense allegory in epic form of christian values tied to arthurian legends remember spencer calls it a dark conceit it includes an introductory letter to sir walter raleigh this is a piece of information relevant to competitive examinations introductory letter to sir walter raleigh yes remember that the first major poem to be written in spenserian stanza is the fairy queen and it has six books so it celebrates the tudor dynasty this particular work it is allegorical and allusive it embodies the eternal conflict of good and evil see as i mentioned earlier the major influences to write this particular work is said to be orlando furioso by ariosto and jerusalem delivered by tasso i remember this used to be a question for nt and yeah this is something important from that perspective yes so the influence of virgil's bucolics and other italian and french pastoral poetry is seen in the shepherd's calendar so another well known work of spencer written in the year 1579 one important aspect here is that this particular work is dedicated to sir philip sidney and this work was published anonymously under the pseudonym immerito meaning unworthy okay this is not straight away mentioned in your textbook i just mentioned so it is a piece of allegory symbolizing the state of humanity it uses diverse forms and meters and it is modeled on virgil's euclus so the petrarchan sonnets we looked at the petrarchan form of sonnet in our last class and other forms french and latin marriage odes and others and their influence is much evident in epithalamian and amoretti sonnets so in the next unit we will study in detail these amoretti and some selected sonnets from this sequence and then you will have a better understanding just remember as i mentioned the first important publication was the shepherd's calendar which deals with the bishops and affairs of english church that's one thing that you will have to remember around 1579 he made friends with sir philip sidney and that is one of the reasons why the shepherd calendar was actually dedicated to sidney and with respect to his friendship with sidney he joined this circle of literary friends around with uh, sidney now comes ireland a much prominent aspect in the life of spencer mm, i'll just summarize the major events okay so in the year 1580 he became secretary to lord wilton lord deputy of ireland from then on spencer lived in ireland as an english planter the irish upbringings against english rule was a regular occurrence at this time for a while he lived in the ruined castle of kill command in cork kilcorman it is nothing very relevant just have 
an understanding of that then uh, this castle was burned during a rebellion in the year 1598 and as a consequence it is said that spencer's first child along with his first wife died during that time all right that's something that you will have to keep in mind about the death and fame of spencer he died at the age of 4 to 6 yes it was an early death he died at westminster on 13 january 1599 it is said that other poets threw poems and pens into his grave at the time of his burial and his collected works were published in the 1611 in the year 1611 it was published then um, critics have pointed out that spencer used poetry for political purposes as well he advocated imperialist themes it is said so and there are many criticisms on spencer as well sydney and ben johnson complained against his archaisms it is said that he used to employ archaic images and language we can say that the 18th century was indeed a period of spencer scholarship pictorial quality of spencer's works got admired this particular long work that is fairy queen we don't have to study that in detail uh, this work is admired for its imaginative quality and uh, the romantics such as lamp called spencer the poet's poet this used to be a common question for all pg entrances across the nation i remember this question who called spencer the poet's poet and there will be four options and the right option is charles lamb yes that will do so that summarizes this particular unit that is unit 9 in this unit we discussed some of the key issues in biographical criticism remember to read that area and the need to examine the lives of writers we later looked at the life of spencer such as um his early life the cambridge years his life in ireland the last years and so on all right so in the following unit we will briefly study the manifestations of some of these issues in his shorter poems before that let me uh, introduce the major works of spencer the shepherd's calendar written in 1579 a view of the present state of ireland written in 1598 The Fairy Queen written in 1590 Amoretti written in 1595 Epithalamine written in the same year 1595 and Prothalamine written in 1596 So in the next few units we will be looking at Amoretti in detail and in the last unit we will look at epithalamian and prothalamia which are basically wedding songs and these are long lengthy poems of spencer so we will discuss that in the next session